In this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer photos and videos from your iPad to your Windows computer. So you don't need a USB cable to do this. We can do this directly from the devices themselves. Now, the first thing, you just need to make sure that both of your devices are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So if I come over to my laptop here, you can see I'm connected to this 91355G. And then if I do the same on my iPad, if I just open up the settings app, if I then come over to Wi-Fi in the left hand side, you can see that I'm also connected to the 9 underscore 135 network. And like I said, this is really important. Otherwise, this is not going to work. So once you've ensured that both of your devices are on the same Wi-Fi network, we're just going to open up an internet browser on both our iPad and also our laptop. Now from here, we're going to head over to the address bar and we're just going to type in pairdrop.net. Now, like I said, you need to do this on both your laptop and also your iPad. So I'm just going to type that in here like so. And you should see something that looks similar to this. Now, what you can do is head over to your iPad and click on this icon in the middle of the screen. Go and click on photo library and then just select the photo or photos that you want to go and send to your computer. Once you've selected your photos, click on add in the top right hand side. And now you should get a notification on your computer asking to go in, accept and download these photos. So I'm just going to click on the accept button on my computer. Computer. And after a couple of seconds, this is going to appear in our downloads folder on our laptop. So if I just click on my downloads at the top here and open up this folder, you can see we have now received these two images and you can basically use this tool to send as many photos and videos as you like. Now, if this doesn't work the first time round, then you can just try refreshing the website on both of your devices. And once again, just make sure you are connected to the same network on both of your devices. And it's really as simple as that, guys. If you did find this video helpful, then let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.